I want to thank Hannon for inviting me to give this talk on how the addition of multiparametric MRI has changed our private practice uh, group in the setting of prostate screenings. Um, I do have multiple disclosures. Um, we are a private practice group with four radiologists in a suburban setting. We work from a freestanding imaging center, but are associated with a nearby hospital. We work with three urology groups. We have two Canon and three Tesla MRI units that can perform multiparametric MRI of the prostate. The exams are performed in the imaging centers and lesions are marked and scored according to PIRADS and then sent to the hospital where an ultrasound MR fusion unit is there for prostate biopsies. The indications that we use are elevated PSA with negative digital rectal exam, continued evaluation of a PSA with a negative random prostate biopsy, prostate cancer identified on TERP, follow-up of patients on active surveillance, staging of new diagnosed prostate cancers, and PIRADS has helped our urologists advise patients and appropriate options for elevated PSA or low-grade cancers. We do not require a prep for the exam. We have a Canon 3T Gallion version 6.1 software. We use a spine coil with four-channel flex coil on top of the pelvis and use either 20 milliliters of multi hands or dotorum by an injection at two milliliters per second. Uh, we mark PIRADS 3 lesions are uh, higher, and then these are loaded into the MR ultrasound fusion system at the hospital. We provide a sonographer and nurse assistance to the urologist to perform the perfusion biopsy. Targeted lesions, as well as our standard systemic uh, biopsies, are performed, and our urologist decides on the number of biopsies performed at each target site. It's clear to see that our urologists have embraced this uh, technology. As you can see, the number of cases we've done has increased exponentially over the last several years, and our urologists now feel that this is the standard of care for evaluation of patients with elevated PSA or concern for prostate cancer. With the latest updated software, our detection rate has increased. This includes the ACE to increase signal, compressed speeder to reduce scan time, fast 3D to reduce scan time, and better signal on our diffusion weighted images. The ability to evaluate for extension of disease has improved and small areas of tumor extension in the other capsule are easily identified. Some examples, a patient on active surveillance, an MR that was done and a random biopsy showed Gleason 3 plus 3. His PSA at that time was 3.8. Four years later, his PSA has increased to 6.3 and an MR done uh, clearly shows that there's now a tumor which on ultrasound MR fusion shows that this is a Gleason 7 tumor now. A 74-year-old with elevated PSA with a recent negative biopsy. Um, and again, you can see that there's a large tumor on these T2-weighted images. The area points to the low signal intensity um, lesion, which is in the anterior uh, transitional zone, the reason why it was probably missed. And again, the diffusion-weighted images, the two images on the left, as well as a contrast image on the right, clearly defining the size and uh, location of this tumor for uh, appropriate uh, biopsy. So we're now doing 60 plus uh, cases per month. Uh, we had problems with insurance previously and this no longer seems to be a problem. We do not track PIRADS 1s and PIRADS 2 lesions. However, our PIRADS 3s, we have 12% cancer rate, PIRADS 4, 64% cancer rate, and our PIRADS 5, 95% cancer rate. And again, we feel it's important to track the results to improve our PIRAD scoring and quality control. So in patients with a negative random biopsy but elevated PSA, a multiparametric MRI can help determine if an additional biopsy is needed and guide the biopsy to the appropriate location. Now with fewer insurance issues, our urologists are moving to a MP MRI before biopsy and doing fusion biopsy, even if no PIRADS 3 or higher lesions are present. Um, this has significantly aided the urologists in following patients on active surveillance, and our local staging has improved given the increased ability with the increased software. Our urologists state there's a 30% decrease in the patients they've scheduled for prostate biopsy secondary to the results of the MR results. It's improved yield with better targeting, giving our ultrasound MRI fusion. With a large number of cases now being referred and the trend to continue to increase the addition of AI would be helpful in increasing throughput. And Canon's deep learning reconstruction algorithm, ACE, enables noise reduction as well as shorter scan times we're seeing a 30% savings in time in most sequences. As an example, a T2 coronal without ACE is five minutes and 50 seconds, and with ACE was three minutes and 16 seconds. To conclude, a good working relationship between radiologists and urologists is required to have a good MPMRI program. MPMRI is now easy to perform, has high quality, shorter exam time, and become the standard of care for detection, characterization, and staging of prostate lesions. 
MPMRI using PyRADS allows a simple system to aid in deciding patient management, and patients feel more confident in decision making by providing an easily understandable assessment of their burden. Again, I want to thank Canon for inviting me to give this talk, and I hope this stimulates you to increase your use of MR for prostate evaluation.